Before I forget, in the description of this video are links for all these cool things like this little hundred dollar ditty for filming vlogs with your cell phone that I just got and links for all the video equipment I use, links for all the things I use to keep care of my snakes. All in the description you find links for all that stuff. Go down there, check it out. Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Fulfill your requests Friday. I've had many, many people ask me, can I please do how to film a quality reptile vlog? And so I'm gonna fulfill the request. You can see in the background here, I've got all kinds of stuff set up. I've been shooting a Freedom Breeder product video. It seemed like maybe a pretty good day to do just that sort of request since I'm in the process of filming stuff right now anyway, which is I guess a constant in my life. But before we get into that, why don't we do a quick update for Junior? So for those of you tuning into the channel for the first time today, this is Junior. He's my Motley Golden Child Reticulated Python. He's been having some issues. He was at the vet recently, has some antibiotics. He's been having some plugged tear duct issues where his face has been swelling up and uh, he's just been going through it, man. And he just had a fresh shed, but now he's got this, his skin is kind of, it looks like it's dry right up here. Even though I literally just watched skin come off here. This is the fresh stuff that's underneath, but it's got this not so wholesome look to it. So he's still going through it. I'm going to check in with the vet this morning and see what's going on. And just going to kind of give him an update on what his status is. And he's just into his little course of antibiotics. So that's where he's at. I will promise I will keep you guys updated as, as Junior progresses here. So here's a bonus tip. Make sure you turn your microphone on before you film a half of your episode. <laughs> there you go, freebie. Before we get talking about the five tips, let's first go over what a reptile vlog is. A vlog is basically a self-documentary, a video you make about your life, sharing your life on video with the world. I wanted to bring that up because I think there's a misconception about what a vlog is. Triple B TV, my channel about snakes and doing interviews. You're, You're watching, watching Triple B TV. That is not a vlog. Uh, my buddy Garrett Hartle has a channel called Reach Out Reptiles where he shares lots of information about mostly super dwarf retics and snake keeping in general. Also not a vlog. Do Brian Barczyk's vlog is a vlog. Snake Bites okay. TV was not a vlog. Just because it's a video on YouTube and there's people in it doesn't necessarily make it a vlog. Again, a vlog is when you're sharing your life on video, kind of like a documentary. A self-documentary is basically what a vlog is. A video log, if you will. Now also, this is about how to make a quality reptile vlog. One person's quality is another person's garbage, so Obviously this is what I think is quality, but a lot of people ask me to make it, so other people also think that I might know what I'm talking about when I say quality. Otherwise, I never would have even contemplated making this video. All right, so we're gonna go through the five tips, starting with the least important to the most important. Tip number five, B-roll. Shoot lots of B-roll. What is B-roll? B-roll is basically any shots that you get on your video that aren't you sitting talking to the camera or standing talking at the camera. Any other shots. Why is B-roll important? It makes your videos more interesting and plus you can talk all day long about a snake but if you're not actually showing the snake on the video then you're forcing your viewer to imagine what it is you're talking about. If you just show them, that's the power of video, you might as well have B-roll to show the things you're talking about. Because I can talk about a snake all day long, but if I'm not showing it to you, I might as well be talking about a stick, or a shoe, or a little baby shark. Some of you guys are saying, I don't have a bunch of cameras, Brian. I don't do fancy camera stuff. I don't have cameras over here and cameras up here. I don't have cameras to do that. You don't need to have multiple cameras to shoot B-roll. You don't even need to have a fancy camera to shoot B-roll. You can shoot all your B-roll on your cell phone. You can do all your videos on your cell phone. You can just point at what you're talking about, talk about it while you're shooting it right there. You don't need to do any crazy fancy editing. Check out this next B-roll segment. I shot this entire B-roll segment with my cell phone. Check this out.
something there that was happening besides just the B-roll, which brings us to number four on the tip list, which is music. Music is a very important part of videos. It really helps you tell your story. It helps bring feeling into your videos. Think about all these movies you've seen, these great movies, the dramatic war scenes or love scenes or just scenes filled with emotion. Everything! If you took the music out of those moments, I guarantee you the emotion would die. It would just feel so empty. The music adds so much to a video. I'm not just saying that because I have a background in music and a history with music. Any great filmmaker will tell you that quality videos need to have music. It doesn't have to be music throughout the whole thing, but using the music is a huge, huge benefit for your videos. What music you use is entirely up to you, of course, but really thinking about what music makes sense for different scenes will just help tell your story that much better. That brings me to tip number three, plan ahead. The more you plan out your videos, the better they'll end up being. If you have an idea of what it is you wanna shoot and the story you wanna tell, you'll have a better chance at creating a story within your video. And a good story is the greatest way to keep somebody's attention. Think of all the movies you watch again. Here's the movie reference. It wasn't about the great shots. It wasn't about the great music that kept you watching that movie from beginning to end. It's the story that keeps you watching, that gets you interested, that gets your viewers emotionally involved with what's happening in your video is having a good story. And again, the best way to create a good story is to plan ahead. You don't always have to do that. You don't have to stress out. That's another thing. Don't stress out too much about making your videos. Enjoy the process. And that's easier if you plan ahead again. If you know what you're gonna shoot, if you know the shots you want, if you know what you want your end result to be, thinking ahead that little bit will give you what you're looking for. So plan ahead. Now there is the point that with a vlog, it's more of a life documentary in which things don't always turn out the way you want them to in life, but that doesn't mean you can't plan ahead for it. That's some, that can sometimes make a good story in itself is the fact that all your plans completely fell apart. That's sometimes a pretty good story that people enjoy seeing. Now, before we move on to the next tip, I just wanted to say that my channel here was always intended to be a vlog, this channel. And it's just by default, the reptile vlog because reptiles are a big part of my life. So inadvertently it becomes reptile vlog because there's not a day that goes by when I don't have reptiles in my life. All my travels are based in reptile activities and that's just kind of how it goes. There may be a video or two where I don't have reptiles on my channel, like if I go to Hawaii, but even then I think we might find blind snakes or something, or at least see sea turtles, so <laughs> yeah, it's a vlog. Now tip number two uh, might be an obvious one, but it's an important one. Reptiles. If you're gonna have a quality reptile vlog, yes, you should have reptiles in your videos. I know that seems obvious, but believe it or not, I've seen plenty of uh, reptile vlogs out there that uh, the whole video would go by, you didn't see one reptile. Uh, now, now eventually you do plan to have dinosaurs on your, on your dinosaur tour, right? Hello? To me, if it's gonna be a reptile vlog, I'm gonna wanna see reptiles. Speaking of which, enter Beatrice, our big mochino reticulated python. She's a beauty. I've had a couple of requests to show her off, which I haven't done. So now I'm doing it. Here she is. She's a great snake. Raised her from a baby, just like basically every snake I keep here. And she's cool, man. She's getting bigger. She's beauty. Beatrice the Mochino Reticulated Python. Hi, baby. How you doing? I don't know why I haven't shown her off recently. She's beautiful. I should show her off more often. Thanks for making the request. Yeah, no, don't do it. <laughs> Beatrice, don't leave me. Beatrice, don't, don't leave me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and for the last and final tip, tip number one, you, YouTube included in there for you right there in their title, you. You need to include yourself in your vlogs. That may seem obvious, but what I mean is that what you bring to the vlogs is the one thing that 
nobody else on any other channel can do. No other reptile vlog has you in it. And what I mean by that is you, you, yourself, your style. It's something that takes time to develop on video, at least it has for me. But the more you can just bring yourself, your ideas, your opinions to your channel, the better it will be because it'll be something that you value. And everything that I've done in my vlog that sets my vlog apart from other vlogs is, is stuff I've done naturally, my own things. The, the, the flipping the camera down to say top, top of the morning, the, the morning on Triple B TV, snapping my fingers before each episode begins. That was something that happened naturally and I just kind of kept it in. The laughing repeats, <laughs> the, the kids, having the kids in. That's, that's my family, that's, nobody else has my kids that do their things and asking them what they know. With these little turd nuggets. You're a turd nugget. <laughs> hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Milk. <laughs> what about milk? That's if you have hiccups, it can make the hiccups go away if you drink some, and that's all I know. <laughs> oh, and it's a liquid. <laughs> Very good. What's it made out of? Hey, Mush! <laughs> what do you know? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Really? What? Wait, what? What was that? No kidding! Oh! Uh, no. <laughs> not all of us are camera ready today. Hey, Eli. What do you know? I know. Megalodons. What about megalodons? That the big teeth, they have big teeth, and that's why they're not. That's all? Oh, and there's... What is a megalodon? It is in the ocean, and it's big, and most of those are super big, and monsters are super creepy, and that's what I know. <laughs> and most of those are big. Bye, Mommy. I'm going to film. That's a big part of the channel for me. It brings a lot of value to the channel for me. And the more I value my own channel, I feel that that helps other people see value in it too. They see how much I really care about what I do and how much drive I put behind what I'm doing and how much work I put into it because I really enjoy it. And it's, it's me, the me part of it, the, the I, the you. That's the part that nobody else can take from you. Nobody else has that on their channel. And so it's the number one thing that you should be putting into your videos is you. I want to know about you. I want to know what's going on with you. I could watch any other channel just to see reptiles. The reason I'm sticking with your channel is because you are in it. Did I get my point across yet? Have I said you enough times? I feel like I should say it a few more times. You, 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 your style, your twist, whatever it is you bring to the table that nobody else has. It's okay to pull styles from other people, watch things you like and like, that was really cool. I want to try that for me too. Great, do that. It's good to emulate people because it helps you develop your own style. Same with music. All the great musicians out there will tell you, they had somebody they looked up to that they pulled their style from, but then they took it and made it their own to figure out what was good with them and what was good for them and what they really liked. Combine all five of those things together and you will have yourself a quality reptile vlog or a quality vlog of any kind of just replace reptile with whatever it is you want to talk about. So let's go back and summarize that list real quick. Tip number five was include B-roll. Tip number four was include music. Tip number three, plan ahead. Know what you're gonna shoot before you go shooting. Number two, have reptiles in it. Number one, be yourself. I know this was a little bit of a departure from our, our normal vlog style stuff. Obviously we didn't go show you what we were doing today for the most part, but this is basically what I was doing today. As, as short as this video was for you to watch, it took a lot longer for me to prepare and set up and be ready to know what exactly what I wanted to talk about and get the points across that I wanted to make, which is where the planning ahead comes into play. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. If you are new to the channel, then well, welcome and thank you for sticking around for the whole show. We'll see you again for Music Monday. Until then, y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other.